Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I wanted to do a video showing you guys how to install Windows Server 2012 R2 on VMware well using VMware Player. Um, uh, VMware Player is a free software and uh, if you guys haven't if you guys aren't sure about it you can check out my video on VMware Player. I do a tutorial on installing it so it's it's very simple there's nothing really advanced about it um, so that's the software I'm going to be using. There are other softwares that you could use, um, but the the process of installing Windows Server 2012 in a virtual machine state can be a little bit tricky. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it using VMware Player. All right. Um, the other thing that you guys would need or uh, that would be required is our ISO. So I have the my Windows Server 2012 R2 ISO. Uh, this is version R2. This is the R2 version of 2012. This is not just 2012, so it's like the more recent one, revision two, I think it is. Um, but yeah, this is R2 of Windows Server 2012. Uh, the and uh, if you guys don't have this ISO, uh, you can look online. This is uh, there's many legal ways of getting it. It's very easy to get 2012. Uh, if especially if you're a student, you can check out Microsoft DreamSpark and uh, sign up with your school, and you'll be able to get it for free. So that's that's uh, a similar method that I had taken as well. So this is why I have the ISO, and with this ISO, you will also need the product key for it. Um, if you guys just want to try out 2012, there's the evaluation copy as well. It's uh, you can go get that for free. It's just off Microsoft. There's an evaluation copy. Uh, here we go. Let's go. You can check it. Uh, Microsoft Server 2012 and like Windows Server 2012, you can get an eval um, when you go to try here, and then you can just get the evaluation version, download that, and then you can use it no problem. But this video is for the full version but it's it's similar the evaluation and this copy is the same thing so to get started let's open up VMware player um, I am doing this on my second monitor so I'm gonna try to make sure all my windows are over here so you guys don't miss anything so this is VMware player as you can see I have a bunch of different VMs but let's make a new one so to make a new virtual machine you click create a new virtual machine and here there's three options installer disk, installer disk image file and I will install the operating system later uh, the option we want to select is this I will install the operating system later click that then hit next um, and then over here you can select Microsoft Windows and then you can select anyone really over here it doesn't really matter but because um, right now VMware player doesn't give us the option of server 2012 uh, R2. So for just for the sake of understanding, I'll just put Windows Server 2008 R2, even though it isn't. It's just an option, and we'll hit next. And then here we'll type in the name of the virtual machine that you want. So for me, I'll make it Tech Void um, Server 2012 R2. Okay. And uh, in the location, I will browse and I will go to the location that I want my virtual machine to be saved at. Uh, when you're selecting a, a, a where your VM is going to be saved try to select a drive that has a lot of free space because the virtual machine minimum will need 60 gigs but uh, yeah over time it'll just take up that amount up to I guess 60 gigs of your hard drive space so try to select the uh, drive that you have free space on. So for me, I'll use my NAS drive here. I have it says free space is 110 gigs, like that. And then over here, I have a folder called My Virtual Machines, and I will just make a new folder. I'll call it um, Tech Void Server 2012 R2 and only I could spell it properly server yeah and we'll select that folder and we'll hit OK okay 
so that's where I'm gonna save it we'll hit next so it says maximum this size is 40 but it's this is it's the system is thinking that we're installing server 2008 but we're actually installing server 2012 so for me I will make it 60 gigs and then we'll you can leave it at split virtual disk into multiple files and then hit next and then here um, one other change I'm gonna make is click on customize hardware and then in the memory here you can allocate how much RAM you want for your machine so you can allocate as much as you want but for me I'll just give it two gigs one gig is a little bit less it your since it's a virtual machine it needs kind of it needs more RAM so it'll go faster so for me I'll keep it at two gigs and then the processor depending on your computer and what processor you have I'm using an i7 so I have eight cores um, I'll be I'll allocate two cores for this virtual machine just so it's not choppy and it's not laggy and the final thing this these two options you guys don't really have to do it but you can leave it at the default uh, I just do it just so it's faster for me my virtual machine will be faster and this step everybody has to do is you have to make sure to do it so you hit a uh, new CD DVD here and then click on use ISO image file click on that and then hit browse and then over here you want to browse to where your ISO is saved so for me I have a software saved in this folder we'll click that and then click this option here and then just select the ISO wherever you have your ISO you browse to that and then select it so select your ISO and then hit open and then after that just hit close and then now our everything is set up like the way we want it and then we can hit finish okay so now we added our new virtual machine to the list and to get it started click play virtual machine and now what's gonna happen is it's gonna boot the machine uh, and since we told it what ISO to use it'll be booting to that ISO it's the same as inserting a CD into our computer and telling it to boot to that CD so right now it's booting to the installer disk of 2012 uh, the language, I'll, the only option is US, so English, US, and then time currency, I'll be using Canada, since I'm in Canada, and then uh, keyboard input is, I'll just leave it at US. You guys can change this to whatever you guys prefer, hit next, and then you can hit install now. Okay, and now we are going to be going through the setup process. Uh, so here this stuff it wants us to enter our product key so for me I'm going to enter my product key and then I'm gonna hit next um, I'm not going to be showing you guys this screen just because I don't want you guys to have the product key <laughs> um, this is just a tutorial video so if you guys are watching this video to just get the product key I'm sorry I can't show that to you guys but um, yeah I'm gonna enter the product key and then hit next and I'll start recording right away so you guys can see it so I will pause and I will be right okay guys so I entered the product key and then hit next <clears throat> and then this is the screen that I came to now here you want to select which there's two versions you can either have the server core installation or the server with GUI installation what the server core is it's it's the entire OS but just in command prompt basically it's a more secure version and it's for the people who know what they're doing like exactly they they know all the code but we want the GUI version because the GUI is are like the normal OS so that's what we, we're going to be using so we'll hit Windows Server 2012 R2 standard uh, server with the GUI um, I am installing the standard version you can use the data center as well no problem it's the same process and then server with GUI and then we'll hit next okay and here's the license terms and as always make sure you guys read everything like seriously everything <laughs> um, I'm just kidding but yeah it's that's there you have to hit I accept the license terms you hit check 
and then hit next. And then uh, here you can go with either option. It's no, it's since it's a new disk, we gave it 60 gigs. You can install it. I'll just hit custom. Select this. This is the 60 gigs we allocated to our virtual machine, and then we'll hit next. If you want to divide this into two drives, uh, partition it into two drives, go ahead, no problem. Uh, but I'm using the 60 gigs that I gave it, and then hit next. And now we're over to the installation process. Um, this may take a little while, so um, what I'm going to do is I might pause it, and then I'll be back when it, it returns. Uh, when it's close to finishing so you guys don't miss a beat so I will be right back guys okay guys so the percentage uh, is almost done it's just at the last stage and now it the virtual machine is going to restart starting in 4, 3, 2, 1 and it should restart as you can see, there's a small blurb here that asks us about uh, VMware tools. Um, basically, that's uh, I made a bunch of videos already on VMware tools and why you should install it. So definitely be sure to go check those video those videos out. It's it's basically an update. Uh, well, once you install the virtual machine, then you can click install tool install tools, and then it'll install on your OS so um, it's a, it's a must-have when you're using the virtual machine it allows you to do a lot more with your virtual machine you can copy and paste between your desktop and your VM you can drag files in and out and you can do a lot of stuff you can resize it so yeah make sure you check that video out um, and uh, yeah looks like it's on the final stages the installation process isn't as long it's kind of similar to Windows 8 but it's not that long. Um, there's not a lot of steps required. You just kind of enter your product key, um, and then now it's going to ask for our admin passwords, our username and password that we want. So that's the final step. Just the loading is left. And. If you want to get rid of this blurb, you can just hit remind me later. So I'll hit that for now. Shouldn't take too much longer. I have made, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with my channel, I do a lot of tech videos and um, just fun stuff, ticks, uh, tips, and tricks, and just various tutorials when it comes to computers so that's I have a lot of videos on virtual machines as well and I'm planning to do a lot more server related videos hence me installing server 2012 so now we enter the password it's asking for the password for our administrator account so I'll enter mine you guys can enter any password you want uh, when you're entering the password, you need to have, uh, you need to have a here. I'll make an error so you guys can see. I'll hit finish. Oh, actually, so the admin password is no problem. Normally, you need to have a capital letter. You need to have a number, and you need to have a symbol for the server. So they call that alphanumeric. Um, but alphanumeric is just numbers and letters. This is alphanumeric with symbols as well, so it's more secure. Uh, Alright, so it's the final steps. And we are in. It's asking for Control Alt Delete. And uh, now in the virtual machine, you don't want to press Control Alt Delete, that'll do the Control Alt Delete for your actual computer itself. But what you want to press is Control Alt and Insert on your keyboard. And then that'll do, that'll pretend like we press Control Alt Delete. And then we enter our password. Hit enter. And it's just logging in for the first time. So it's going to take a little bit for its initial setup. 
and uh, there we go that's pretty much it guys we have a Windows Server installed um, by default it'll open up the server manager as well so everything is done the server our VM of Windows Server 2012 R2 is set up so for the purpose of this video we are done I hope you guys enjoyed uh, thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment and uh, like this video if you guys enjoyed it and you thought it was good and check out all my other videos um, and I plan to do a lot more server videos in the future so please stay tuned and subscribe thank you guys and take care